Okay, welcome back. This is part two of the Demon Souls Vitality playthrough. We're going through all the way to New Game Plus. Yeah, yeah, what am I doing? All the way to New Game Plus using only one stat to level up the Vitality stat and using only one set of weapons and armor. This is our armor set for the entire game and these are our weapons just the dagger and the buckler and the short bow so yeah it's gonna be fun we can level up these weapons we can buff them but we can't replace them also I'm trying my best for a no death run so I'm gonna be rather conservative most of the time apologies for those wanting a daredevil, but hopefully because I'm only leveling up vitality, I should have enough health to allow myself more mistakes and if I can do that I'll uh, I'll try some more crazy stuff crazy! and by crazy I mean trying to parry characters that normally people don't parry like uh, the fat officials and the, um, the golden skeletons in the shamans, archstone stuff like that so, anyway, we have just returned from ass-whooping the phalanx. And he dropped very few shards for me, but what the heck. That hairpin, that belongs to my daughter. Then she didn't make it after all. Mm. My dearest little baby, may she rest in peace. May I ask you a favor? Would you mind giving up that hairpin? I'd like to have it in memory of my daughter. Yes, of course. I can never say no to him. I mean, I know what happens, but... Uh... You're a saint. Anything for you, Thank Stockpile you. Thomas. Thank you so much. Don't oh, mention it, buddy. I mustn't forget. It's not much, but please accept this as thanks. I'm a bit ashamed to say, but I found it one day, discarded on the main road. But it seems to possess a strange power. Anyway, I feel that you should have it. It will be happier in your hands. Hello again. I'm keeping a close watch on your belongings, rest assured. Okay, okay, let's deposit what we have, so... Six hard stone, three sharp stone, that'll get me another level up. We can put these late moon and full moon ones aside. So much stuff I won't need. Uh, no, let's hold on to that for now. Um, let's deposit the phalanx one. Let's not use that. I'll use up all of these. Okay. Two mail breakers. Keeping the short bow. One slave shield. Two slave shield. Three slave shield. Four! Up, up. Alright, purple flame shield. My favorite. Put that one away as well. Uh, put away the bolts. Not using the bolts. Put away the ragged clothes. Yeah, that's about it for now. What else have you got to say? If only something could be done. Nothing. You have a heart. Okay. Well, good day to you. I can forge weapons for you for a fair price. Show me what you got, homie. Oh no, I need an extra one. I need one more. Uh, you know, I really was hoping to be at dagger plus four by the end of the phalanx, but I uh, I think my optimism was a little overzealous. Hey, bud. Oh, 
want. Taste it. If mm. it's good. Good enough? Ah, uh, akora. Let's do it. Short bow plus three. I mean, short bow plus two. Can we go three? No. So, you know, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to farm more before I go anywhere else. Mm, I could, but I'm not gonna. Not yet. I don't need that. Uh, prepare the equipment. You know, it might be my imagination, but I think maybe the volume is a little too low. Let me stop for a second, let me pause just for a second and see if the uh, volume is correct. And I'll be right back. Okay, and we're back. I guess the I guess the volume's okay. Um, we'll find out later in post production. In the meantime, be thankful that I'm. Oh yes, yes, of course. Do come. All right. Let's talk to our crestfallen knight. Still alive. I am impressed. This is something that might interest us. The Black Road Maiden of the Nexus looks after the flames. She's a morose type, with eyes occluded by wax. She can control souls like no other. Bring her the souls of men and demons, and she will embolden your flesh and blood with their power. But beware, do not devolve into a foul beast. What's happened? Have you lost your nerve? No matter. Have a seat. We can sit here forever. Nine. At least we will be safe. <laughs> um. I think that's it. No, wait, wait, wait. Back in the time that I lived below Bolitaria Castle, King Aland left on some strange business then returned with horrible demons in tow. Soon, the land was ravaged by demons and soul-starved madmen. My spine shudders just to think about it. If I did not have my miracle stone shard, a keepsake of my grandfather, I may not have survived. Yeah, that's right. If you have more than 20 faith, if your faith stat is above 20, or 20 or more, she will give you a pure faint stone. Since we're not going to be leveling that stat, we have no reason not to talk to her early. But something that's really neat is if you look here, she's got this little box. Inside the box, there's all sorts of trinkets. So we can assume that the faint stone is in there, potentially. I mean, what else would she have it, right? Why else would she have it? Uh, what else does she have here? Huh? It's interesting. Does she say anything else? If I did not have my... No, that's it. And so over here, finally, we get to see these characters. I have sinned. I swore allegiance to Saint Urbain, but was of no use to him. And now I have run away. Oops, I ended that early. Let me say Oh that Lord, again. punish me. For I have not the strength to punish myself. My bad. Oh honorable wonder, I hesitate to imagine your present state. He's talking about Saint Urbane. Will you continue to pray? Even in Yeah, yeah, that's right, because Patches has him. You can see him holding what I believe is a catalyst for miracles.
Uh, this guy isn't evil, or I, I don't think there's any lore behind him that he was responsible for what happened to Saint Urbain. I think it's well established that it was Patches who did all that, but nonetheless, you do get a certain amount of uh, Petrus vibes from this guy. I think that's the guy's name from Dark Souls, right? The um, uh, the cleric that you meet at Firelink Shrine. So I think like this is his prototype right here. A warrior from afar, are you? Mm. May you enjoy victory in battle. Yeah. Umbasa. Umbasa to you too. A warrior of me, Umbasa. Nothing new. Oh, honorable one, I deep with it. Will you continue to... So I think that's it. Uh, I believe this guy gives you elementary miracle spells. Prior to rescuing St. Urbain. I think so. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong. Let's go over here and say hello to... Uh, to our other troop. And there shouldn't be anybody here except this douche nozzle. Are you here to face the demons? If so, please free Sage Freak the Visionary from the dungeon of Latria. Mm. I will help you however I can. I can teach you elementary spells. Sage Freak is a gleaming hope for humankind, but I have not the power to save him alone. Really neat stuff that we can't use. Well, technically we can. Just at level 10. I don't think I've ever really used Demon Sprank. A loud sound in a far off place. Mm. Yeah, sounds pretty neat. Might have to do that later. Frake is a great sage who systemized the magic of the soul arts to make it possible for human imitation. By observing the state of Boletaria and the demons within it, he's likely to pave the way for greater things. All the more reason that I must meet Frake as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. All the more reason. Okay, so that's all you have I see. to say. See yourself. Just ensure that you rescue Sage Frake as quickly as possible. And Sage Freak, of course, is like the prototype for Big Hat Logan. Again, you know, for all my Dark Souls fans out there. And I am assuming there's a lot more Dark Souls fans than there are Demon Souls fans. Even though that's blasphemy. The monumental awaits the above. The monumental will explain the next... Alright. Let's go see. Uh, you know what? I don't think I did this. Maybe I should do this. Yeah, let's do this real quick. If you go down here... See that? Plop. You take this little drop from the stairs. You go over here. You can get some more stuff. And you can do the same thing on the other side. Behind the other pillar along the staircase. Right here. And we drop down. And we drop down again. Do it. 
once we speak to the monumental, the rest of the arch stones will open, giving us free reign to any of the other worlds, and we can take our. We have long awaited you, Slayer of Demons. Make our choice. I am one of the monumentals. We preserve the fabric of reality. There is something thou needest to know. Once, we too, a scourge of demons faced. In the distant past, under a benevolent rule, the world was united owing to the soul arts. Until a lust for power caused the awakening of the old one. Across the land seeped a colorless deep fog, and the world faced extinction at the hands of the demons. Thanks be, we were able to lull the old one back to his slumber, yet only after the loss of innumerable souls and half the world lost, erased by the fog. In order to mend the fabric of what land still remained, we entrusted six elders with six precious arch stones. One to the king of a small yet diligent land. One to the king of the burrowers underground. One to the wise queen of the great ivory tower. Near Latria. One to the chieftain of lost and ill-fortuned souls. Mm. One to the shaman of the tempest-worshipping shadowmen. And the last to the great giants of the northern lands. The archstones were placed at nodes across the earth. We contained the old one inside this nexus and banned the soul arts. Finally, we became monumentals, half-living sentinels of the fabric of reality. Alas, the other monumentals have perished, and only I remain. See, he mentions, the monumental mentions six arch stones. We've been to one that leaves five more, leaves five more, but here only four sealed arch stones have been released. As most of you know, now it is your turn. You must lull the old one back to its slumber. I thought that, I thought and that he went to sleep. away for all eternity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If not, the deep fog will absorb all that we know. Have you the strength? To accept this mission? No, I don't. But I'll say yes anyway. Yes. We are fortunate indeed to have you. Now, go forth and destroy every last demon. The old one, without demons to feed its souls, will a new servant seek and lure you to its bosom. Piece of cake. I got this. Oh, so anyways, I was saying... The sixth archstone, the archstone that leads to the uh, giants in the northern rim. I guess what happened is the developers that ran out of time or money or something, bandwidth, to complete the final level. So they released the game with one of the archstones destroyed. How am I going this way? Take a quick peek. What the lore is with this, right? What's that supposed to be? I have no idea why there's just a giant statue of a woman there holding a sword. 
or if there is, um, if the lore delves into it, I don't know. I'd love to make random connections, such as um, the Candle Maiden and that statue being somehow connected. That would be pretty neat, but it's probably just a random aesthetic. Well, let me not say probably. This is a Souls game afterwards, uh, after all, so I mean, there's all sorts of possibilities. Okay, let us use up the rest of these. to its ancient slumber. This power allows her to aid those who slay demon. Mm -hmm. What is it? Does thou seek soul power? Oh, you bet your ass I do. I wonder so what happens it. if you say no. I've never said no. After all, thou requirest strength. Go forth, touch the demon inside me. Let That's these suggestive. ownerless souls become thine own. Let's do it. Everything's going into vitality. Soul of the lost be drawn from its vessel. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. Okay. So the world might be mended. main thine. That should be enough. Okay, now we can go anywhere we want to. But I don't feel ready yet. So we're gonna go back to Phalanx. Let's see if we can get some more heart stones and sharp stones. Get our dagger up at least one more, preferably two more slots. You know, these these phalanx guys, they these blobby shields dudes, they also drop they also drop large sharp stone and hard stone shards, so we could get lucky. We'll see. world's longest load screen. There we go. Let's go over here first where we have six of them. So it's actually a great spot to farm. One 
hardstone shard. Nothing. That is slim pickings. Well, there's three more over here. Is it worth going all the way over here to get them? Very nice, very nice indeed. It's a good, just this, this run already yielded three. Make that four. Okay, now we're talking. for a bit. Okay, well, four is not bad. Four is decent. enough to level up the bow. I can fo Yep, still need that one sharp stone. Look at that. Okay. I could go straight into quality short bow. I'm not gonna do that because I can't level up anything but um, vitality for my own rule. So, all right, two more hardstone and one more large. That can happen pretty quickly. And then we have, yep, just that one for sharp stone. One sharp stone. Do come back. Dagger. Let's run this one more time. Generous with the hard stones, huh? Finally, my sharp stone. There we go. Alright, 
three more to go up there. Actually, actually, you know what? Screw this. Screw this. Let's do it the easier way. It's not as um, streamlined, but who cares? Let's do the first half of Stone Fang. That's going to give me I a ton. I can forge weapons for. Let's let's do it this way. This is easier. Go into Stone Fang. Get to Ed at least. That opens up a whole bunch. And then um, we'll proceed after that. Probably to Archstone Four. Get through that one quickly. Rescue um, Grave Robber Blige. He has cheaper arrows. There we go. Eight sharp stone, nice. That sets me up. I just need a large one now. Let's talk to my homeboy here. Let's take a good look at you. Oh man. It's not the years, it's the mileage, huh? You are looking... Uh, I think you've seen better days. for souls. Right, right. Oh yeah, and he also provides the pickaxe. Well, that's neat. Our little town. Well, it's a nice wee place. All those lizard-eyed townsfolk are busy tinkering with stone. And don't bother with old men like myself. Makes life rather easy for me. I can get away with anything. <laughs> Thank you, Lord, for this golden opportunity. I don't <laughs> think we have uh, a good corollary for this guy in uh, Dark Souls. Uh, maybe, maybe the undead who gives you poison moss. <laughs> Um, what else you say? Have you heard about that sparkling oh, yeah, that's lizard? Right. He's sparkling and I lizards. know where his nest. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's right. Tells me there's a nest. Thank you, Lord. And that exhausts it. You want to play? Well, you've got to pay. Don't you agree? Later. Later, later. Let's do this. Ouch. 
forgot what time to reach that ass. Oh, no fair. Yes. Parried somebody trying to punch me. That's a first. Um, let's heal a bit. <laughs> yep. Back to our parrying tricks. Look at this battle axe, which I will never use. Ah, uh, never say never. At least not in this playthrough. Maybe New Game Plus. Maybe. I really didn't think you could parry just a fist. I thought it needed to be holding a weapon. So, that's a new thing. That's something brand new for this playthrough. down here to grab this stone of ephemeral eyes. Drop something. Yeah, spider stone. Good. Ah, let's try to parry this. Yes. Lovely. Lovely. Just parry the pickaxe. Four and four. I'll take it. the fat official. Guys, you have no idea how happy that makes me. Now I'm feeling accomplished. Alright, got the chunks early. Come on. Look at his tongue. Got a snake tongue. Oh, missed that one. Let's try it again. There we go. Right, these here are going to be a little bit tougher. Oh, 
you know what? It's over. I mean, oh, two shards of sharp stone. Thank you. That's the way to go once you know how to parry. Or once you semi reliable with it. That, I mean, you just don't play the game any other way. Well, okay. If you can parry once out of three attempts and they don't kill you in the first two, right? Sir? All right. Let's open the gate. stone chunk of clear stone you know the random drops are a lot better here here we go we got my large hard stone shard now we just need a large sharp stone as well wasn't aiming for you, but I'll take it. Get the grindstone. Always on my grind. There's my large shark stone. Okay. We are well on our way. Since I went this far, I might as well go all the way. speedrunners. There's a way to, uh, I think from here, you get to jump down over there. Um, you can glitch the game, end up behind the armored spider. You get straight into level 2-2 two -two that way. We are not doing that with this paper. This is a standard vitality only playthrough, and hopefully Fingers crossed. A no death playthrough. That would be. That would be butter. Hey, where's my, where's my stuff? Hmm. I forgot. I have no. Um, Do I use up all my daggers?
nice little tidbit. These fire lizards, or whatever they are, they actually rare drop the melt stones as well. I've only had it like had it happen like once or twice. But yeah, they do it. See if I can parry these guys. I don't think I've ever ever parried this guy. Oh, okay. That was bad timing. Oh, that was terrible timing. There we go. Certainly helps having high health here. those guys before. Oh, too low. Nope, 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 nope. There we go. That's going to have a wind up, huh? Okay. Almost there. Shards of hard stone, very nice. And two large hard stone, one large sharp stone. That is a good haul, gentlemen. That is a decent haul for being this early in the game. Blacksmith, show me some coin. If not, head straight for the door. Okay. Let's do it. Ah, uh, look at all this stuff. Nope. Just a little dagger. Plus four. Just need one more large sharp stone shard. I can get it to dagger plus five. Oh, uh, I'm so tempted to just keep going and finishing up. Now I can't finish out. I can't finish out this level. I have to. Uh, I have to cheese the armored spider. I. <laughs> I need to use bow and arrow for him. I almost certainly die if I try to do it. Um, just with the puny dagger. So I will be going back. Okay, short bow. Short bow. He yeah, has short bow plus five. Very nice, very nice indeed. Short bow plus six, and it's four of them. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. I'm busy. I'm not here to chit chat. 
Forging weapons strengthens it. It alters its character. Pores of transmogrified sprites. Their presence blesses the weapon. Transmogrified sprites. Everybody get that? Pores of trans... That's it? Okay. souls. That should be it, right? Yeah. Okay, so I don't need any arrows for four one. Thou seekest then tuck soul of the mind, key to life's ether. Soul of the lost, withdrawn from its vessel. Art thou done? May thine. Okay, let's see if anybody says anything different. If this dude doesn't, then none of Have you met the last survivor, ah. Monumental? Those fools revived the old one on a whim. Mm -hmm. And now they've trapped us here in the Nexus in a desperate attempt to undo their mistake. It's all a travesty, if you ask me. What's happened? Have you lost your nerve? No matter. At least. So... Let's do it. Shrine of Storms. Let's see if we can parry these skeletons. I don't know if I'm parrying the black ones. Uh, black skeletons might be a little too intimidating. If you know how to run through this level, it's a, it's a great shortcut on this level. Gets you to the boss real quick. And then again, trying to parry those gold skeletons with the, the huge uh, keelage, I think that's the name of the weapon. Wasn't good. I want to parry. Come on, parry. No, come on now. All right. Never mind. We'll parry the next one. We'll parry the next one, right? Not with that move.
plate stone. I'll come right down and pick up these things in just a second. First, let's go over here. See if we can take care of homeboy. One, two, three, four, five. That's that. And one, two, three, four, five, six. That's that. That should do it. Uh, probably the most valuable game. Uh, uh, weapon in the in the game, right there. If you want to cheese the game easy, get that magic falchion, 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 however you pronounce it, and put all your all your souls into your magic stat. Cool. Got to press the button. Oh, well. One down. What the heck? I can drop. Decent. Decent. Holy arrow. Now we're talking. Okay. Hmm. Do I want a rematch? I do, but I don't have any arrow. Oh, I have five arrows. I just got five arrows. I could use those for, uh, the rays, those sky swimming manta rays. That's one way of doing it. If I get rid of these two that are flying here, I can take on Homeboy in my present state. Oh, well, I didn't know I aggroed him. I guess I was a little too close. Alright, let's see. We have five of these guys, so. Oh, I just messed up. <laughs> okay, that was dumb. Okay, I only have four of these guys. Do we want to do this? I can make it faster on myself. I do have some sticky white stuff. Why does he have to be right in the gap, right?
since I'm here. Might as well pick up this other stuff. This isn't even the way I wanted to do the run, but what the heck. Um, where are you? There was supposed to be a kaboom. Supposed to be a big earth shattering kaboom. Supposed to be a sky ray here somewhere. Okay, that takes care of you. More cobblestone that I will never use. Not yet, not yet. Let's pick up the key and see if we can rescue Grave Robber Blige. First one, everybody else is doable. This is a solid bow. This is basically the best bow in the game if you choose to go the uh, sticky long bow upgrade route using spider stone. That makes it even more powerful than uh, the lava bow or the white bow when you max it out, if I remember correctly. Uh, let's go this way. Talk to Sparkly for a second. I do have a couple of things to give her, so. Let's do it. You scary. Give Sparkly me. Give Twinkly me. Me. Huh. You. Trade. Trade. Give me Sparkly Twinkly. Mm -hmm. So for those who know Snuggly the Crow and Dark Souls, right? Demon Souls did it first. Demon Souls, baby. Okay, uh, what am I giving? I forgot what things she could take. Can she take a soldier's lotus? No, spot. No. Alright, alright, okay, don't get it. Keep your hat on. I th think she can. I think she can take a no, stone. Spot. No? No stone of ephemeral lies? Okay. How about a shard of arch stone? Can you take one of these? No, <gasps> I am 0 for 3. Let's go the other way. Brass telescope. Sparkly, happy, happy. 
Okay. And here's a fast way of doing it. Just load your profile again. Uh, yeah, this one, Queen Chizzy, right? Okay. you the good stuff right here behind the branch behind the root sparkly happy happy more trade more trade give me sparkly twinkly please please give give <laughs> oh my god can you imagine being the voice actor for that I believe that gives me, uh, if I remember correctly, colorless demon soul. Yep. That's what I need. Sorry, Sparkly, that's it. Stone ephemeral eyes. Let's go rescue. Let's go rescue my boy. Mm. Throwing knife, why not? And I need to 
turpentine. Turpentine? Tarpentine? Right this way. And that. Harry. There we go. Old man, she's like, you have redeemed yourself. Okay. I fell for that trap. I suppose I owe you now. I'm Grave Robber Blige. As thanks, I can provide you with useful goods. Who couldn't do with a little help down in these parts? Get a longbow from him. There we go. Arrows for ten bucks. Oh yeah, I'll take some. Oh, okay, not that many. Uh, you know what? I'm not gonna get. I'm. I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna um. Ooh, leather set. I'm just gonna exhaust this shrine for now. Was used in a ghastly ritual by an ancient tribe. They've long perished, and now demons have put the souls to work. At least here you're killing things that are already dead, like skeletons and shadow lurkers. That's what I like about this place. Better than killing those poor, soul-starved humans, right? Better than killing those... Oh, well, that's it. Nothing suits you fancy, well, don't be too frugal. A bit of indulgence goes a long way. I hear you, buddy. I'm gonna get that heavy arrow from you shortly. Knock on wood, everything goes well. Uh, yeah, not done yet. Let's let's get that adjudicator shield first. There you go. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah, buddy. Damn it. That is not the way it's supposed to go. I should have known I was going to get stuck on there. Thank goodness for all this health, right? Oof, that's rough. Oof. Parrying this guy is going to be a chore.
Yes! Oh, gentlemen, you have no idea how good that feels. Hmm, not good. Do, 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 do. Escape. There we go. Come on, we can do it one more time. One more again, right? That is beyond satisfying. Anybody who knows these guys knows how satisfying that is. There we go. Judicator shield. So, oh, I shouldn't have grabbed that. So, I shall put that puppy right there. And that's going to give us a little bit of rejuvenation until we get that regeneration ring. Since we're up here, might as well do this other stuff. That was a good one. That was a good one, gentlemen. That's pretty pathetic. There we go. Regenerator's ring. This pretty much settles it right there. I didn't even have to do that, but... Yeah, why am I doing that? No. You know what, I'm getting close to the boss, so let's take it serious. I have no idea how powerful his swings are, and the odd chance that he actually catches me with them. Oh, only have two. Holy mm -hmm. arrow? White arrow. White arrow. White arrow! Should be enough. Good enough. I believe these are my first two crystal lizards.
and that's how we handle that. All right, so what do we need for this? Uh, let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. I believe that's all we need. So, gentlemen, let's go have some fun. too close. software needs to make smaller bosses. Chizzy, take a bow. Alright. Grab a couple of items. Lingering about. Let's not forget the stone up here. That would be stone of ephemeral eyes. And I think I'm going to end this video right here and in the next one let's cash in on all those souls get our health up there and then straight into stone fang mine for at, at least past the armored spider i don't know about flame worker just yet but definitely past armored spider so i can really level up uh, my puny little weapons and then we'll see after that we'll see anyways thank you for watching I'm glad you're here with me on this journey no death so far it's the vitality playthrough baby all right I'll see you